what do you think could be, reasonably speaking, the long-term effect once the UK leaves the European Union? Trade flows, certainly for goods, for services, will continue uh, between the UK and the EU. We are partners and that will remain. But I expect that it will be less intense than it is at the moment, mm -hmm. and especially for financial services. Being outside of the single market and uh, if there is no passporting for banks, they're in the financial sector. They will be, uh, I think, a, a significant loss for uh, the UK. Does the, the UK uh, have a lot to lose, uh, losing access to other markets, for example, outside the EU? So I think the main issue will, really will be the, the transition. How many years will it take for the UK to renegotiate the kind of access it has to third market f from which it benefits now as part of the, of the EU? But in the long term, yes, it will uh, get more or less back to, to where it is at the moment. Let's take the example of China. Okay? It is in the interest of China to trade with the EU. It's a large block of countries. Is it in the interest of China to trade with the UK, which is a small country at the end of the day? You know that uh, at the moment uh, there are discussions between the EU and China about an investment uh, agreement. Um, there's not yet discussions of a bilateral free trade area, uh, but that may, that may come uh, in, a, in a few years. And I would expect that indeed, in parallel with the EU-China discussions, there would be uh, UK-China uh, discussions. But once again, I think that will take time. Uh, at the moment, the UK does not really have the personnel uh, to be able to deal with doing so many agreements with China, with the EU itself, with all the partners with whom the EU has agreement, whether it's South Africa, whether it's Korea, whether it's Canada. So that will take Time. Do you foresee a possible fall in foreign direct investment? The fall of, uh, of FDI, I think, will occur, and again during the transition period. Uh, as long as there is uncertainty, uh, that is going to be bad for, for investment. And uncertainty uh, can last for, for, for many years. Uh, we know that the, the Article 50, once it's invoked, uh, will take two years to negotiate the divorce between the, the EU and the UK, but then we will have to, to make a new, a new marriage at a, at a lower level, eventually, whether it will be in five years or in ten years, eventually uh, there will be again uh, a climate that is favorable for investment. And whether the UK will be able to, to recoup those losses, I think that's, a, that's an open question.